Hey guys, sorry about this weird lighting, but today is Wednesday, September. I don't, I don't remember the date, and I just, I don't. So I'll put it on the screen, and that's whatever day of September it is. But it's Wednesday, and it's the middle of Mido Awareness Week, and right now I'm sitting in a fast food parking lot. But I'm on my way technically to school, well to my homeschool co-op, just for a little bit, um, just for like an hour, 45 minutes, um, because I'm still recovering from surgery, but every year, everybody in our community takes a group picture wearing green, sorry, sneeze, excuse me, um, of wearing green, so, yeah, so I'm wearing my green shirt, and I'm excited to see everyone wearing green and it's very very special to me that everyone in our community dresses up for it so yeah so recovery has been rough and I think before this vlog goes up I'll do a little update video more in depth but it's been rough but I'm doing a lot better I am off all the meds I'm not in pain constantly anymore which is so so nice um, my port is so really sensitive, obviously, what would it be after surgery, but I am doing a lot better, and today we're on the way to my pediatrician um, as a checkup and to see her, so yeah. We're in the doctor's, and I forgot my mask, so she gets to use the cheeky mask. Mm -hmm. This lighting is not that great, is it? Does that help? That helps a little bit, I think. So, sorry, the lighting is a little bit off. Um, but right now, I, well, technically we are parked. My mom and Justin aren't in the car, obviously, but they're going inside the Habit to get some lunch for us all. Oh, I see Justin walking back. Um, but the doctor's appointment with Gooch was good, and she said, that the next time she wants to see us is March, which is really, really good because it's September, almost October, and Justin's dancing to distract me. What? I know you're filming. Do you want to say hi to the vlog? Hi. Oh, they can't even see you. Hi. <laughs> Like I was saying, she doesn't want to see us back until March, which is really good because it's the end of September. Okay, good, that door's closing. So that's really good news. She said my port is looking good and that it feels really good because that's what it does. Like, I have never felt it this secure and stable before. So going good on that front and yeah, and she wrote a letter because right now we are, well, not looking into, we know we're going, sorry guys, I ran out of storage. Um, but as I was saying, my, I had her do a letter of verifying my stated handicap, which is mitochondrial disease and making sure it's legit. So in case we want to get a service dog through an organization, we have that because applications for service dog programs have those types of questions and need like verification from your medical team. And yeah, so we're looking between doing it with this one specific dog program or self owner training and rescue. And the reason why we want to rescue if we go the route of training on our own and by on our own I just mean not through an organization I'm not meaning that we're not going to hire trainers um just because puppies are adorable but they are a lot of work and we would really like a dog to be a little bit older like one year maybe 
and have some basic obedience and like his house trained so that's kind of why so I've been on the lookout for some rescues that could be a good fit but if you guys have any tips I don't know what that noise is what the heck but if anybody has any tips about service dog or you've had experience with it leave it down in the comments but I'm gonna go because our food is about to come I'm in Salt Lake sorry guys I will continue this vlog in the morning but I just deaccessed so see you in the morning and like the vlogger I am, it is two days later instead of the next day, so I'm really sorry guys. I just forgot yesterday to be honest. Um, but after the doctor's appointment, I just chilled at home. Um, I did school in the car, so I didn't really have to do anything. Once we got home, except rest in bed, which was really nice. And I think I forgot to mention that I think it was Monday or Tuesday was my last day of taking ibuprofen for pain from surgery. So I'm not having constant pain anymore. I mean, I still have intermittent pain here and there, but it's not consistent and constant, which I'm super grateful for. And if you get grossed out looking at scars, I'm sorry, but I'm about to show you. So this is what it looks like. And it's perfectly normal for it to be bruised like that. That's completely, completely normal. And it was in this moment that my phone died while I was vlogging and I completely forgot to, one, finish the clip, and two, do the outro. So I highly and deeply apologize, guys, but I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Click that like button and subscribe down below and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.